Sprint cycling, much like sprint running, can be split into two distinct phases. Accelerations, which are signified by lower velocities and higher torques, and maximal speed or flying efforts, which are signified by higher velocities and lower torques. This video is an example of an acceleration or start effort. World class starts are a fundamental part of the coaching philosophy at British Cycling and also where we as SNC coaches feel like we have the most impact due to the higher torques. If you watch this video, you can see the huge influences of the lower body. If you take care to watch it again, you'll actually see the huge influence by the movement of the ankle. These stills of a high torque single leg effort further emphasise the energy leaks that occur at the ankle during maximal pedaling. This, these observations, plus the observations of coaches, have led to a large amount of research around the ankle. Most of this research has been done by biomechanists and has involved the taping or bracing of the ankle mechanically. A recent in-house piece of research done by one of our members of staff showed that limiting the range of motion in dorsiflexion had a bigger negative effect on power increases than if plantar flexion was also limited. This led to the conclusion that potentially um, preloading of the muscular tendinous unit led to an increase in power at the ankle during sprint cycling. Previously, the influence of a stretch shortening cycle in sprint cycling had been widely dismissed due to the foot being in contact with the pedal at all times. However, this evidence of a stretch shortening cycle meant research into the physiological adaptations of ankle stiffness was warranted. 